Welcome to Crude Tube. I'm Captain Crude, and another band I love, been listening to a long time, and I had the CD in my in the car for a while. Loving it, loving it, yeah. Uh, and I just, it just got me thinking, like this band is just way, way, way overlooked, and the band I'm talking about right here. The B-52s. This album is called Funplex. This is their, I guess, latest CD or of original music. And I don't know when this came out. Over 10 years ago. I know that. Maybe I should look at this. Let me see. Wow, 2007 this came out. 15 years ago. 16 years ago. But this album is the one I think is their best studio album. Uh, better than a debut and uh, Wild Planet and you know the stuff from the 80s. This one I like a heck of a lot. Just sounds great. They still play songs from this album live. Pump. They do the song Funplex. Uh, just a great album and they look great. Look at them. I mean that's over what 30 years into their career and they still look great. Yes, no Ricky Wilson on this, but you can't have it all. He passed away in the mid 80s. Uh, but the B-52s, if you're a musician, I consider myself a musician. I could play instruments, write songs, do all that stuff. But they are one of the greatest bands ever. Because when you take a band and you put a drummer, a guitar player, a couple of singers, an organ player, put it together, nobody did it quite like the B-52s. And they took a whole bunch of influences. You know, you could say it's 60s surf rock, or it's doo-wop music, or it's alternative, or what they were considered back in the late 70s and early 80s as new wave. Uh, they were a little bit beyond new wave. They had their own thing going, going and it was very organic. And that's what I love about the B-52s, is that every component to that band fits perfectly into it. So you have Fred Schneider on the vocals, uh, Cindy Wilson on vocals, Kate Pearson, vocals, organ, though I don't think she plays that much anymore. And to me, the MVP of the band as of today is Keith Strickland. He is the guitar player. He plays drums. He could do virtually everything. He doesn't tour with them anymore, but he's the guy behind this album. He's the music man. Now, if you know anything about the B-52s, you know their original guitar player, Ricky. Uh, Ricky Wilson passed away. Uh, in the mid 80s and it left a pretty big hole in the band he's the guy who came up with all those little riffs and stuff in like the late 70s early 80s uh, that just made just push this band over the top everything is danceable it's melodic it rocks it's psychedelic it's pop it's all over the place and for a band to play as long as they have and still sound great that's a testament to their talent because they often get lumped in it's like oh they're a party band yeah i saw them on the uh cosmic thing tour uh what year 80 actually i saw them in 1990 on that tour and everybody was partying yeah okay it's b-52s but that band just is just way too good too tight write great songs that nobody else sounds like them. And that's what I wanted to talk about. Bands I love are bands that can really play, create music, and create their own thing. Everybody rips off everybody else, but you have to make it your own. And that's what the B-52s do. And on this particular album, how many years? 30 years into the career, they released this. If you want to look at it up close, Funplex, this is their best album, I say. You know, maybe because I listened to it about six times in the car straight every morning. I just love it. It's just a great album. And I would actually recommend with B-52s get all their albums. Or just get the greatest hits and then buy Funplex. 
because you'll do really good with that. They're on a farewell tour. I don't know how many more shows they got in them, but definitely go and check it out. So B-52s, that's my pick for Crude Tube uh, when I do music here. And uh, I'm standing by it. Love myself some B-52s. So until I see you next time, peace. Cheers.